In this tutorial, we are going to practice finding the mean, median, mode, and range of a data set. In this problem, it says that Penelope scored the following on six math quizzes, 65, 75, 280s, 95, and 100. Find the mean, median, mode, and range of Penelope's quiz scores. We are going to start by finding the mean quiz score. The first thing that we have to do when finding the mean is add up all of the values together. So we have to add 65, 75, we have to add 80 twice, 95, and 100. In this column, we have a total of 15, and all of the numbers in this column have a total of 39, and in this column, we have a total of 4. So all six quiz scores added together gives us a sum of 495. So for the mean, after you find the sum of all of the numbers, you must take that total which in this case is 495, and divide it by how many scores you added together. So in this case, we have to divide our total by 6. 6 goes into 49 8 times. 8 times 6 is 48. The difference of 49 and 48 is 1. We bring down our next place value. And there's a 5 in that place value, so now we have 15. And 6 fits into 15 twice. Two groups of 6 is 12. Leaving us with the remainder of 3. Because there's nothing else to drop down, we are simply going to add a decimal in this location, and a decimal in this location, and a 0 in the very next place value. We're going to drop that place value down, and we are going to continue our division. 6 can fit into 30 5 times. And because it fits in exactly 5 times, we can stop right here and say that the mean score is 82.5%, or 82 and 5 tenths percent. The next statistical measure that we are going to find is the median. When finding the median of any data set, make sure that your data is listed in order. So we are going to list out our data in order from left to right and simply figure out what the middle value is. In this particular data set, we have six pieces of data. Six is an even number, and whenever you have an even data set, there will be no single middle number. For example, I can take this data set and divide it into two equal parts. Notice we have three pieces of data on the left and three pieces of data on the right. There is no single number in the middle here. Whenever that happens, what you must do is take the two middle numbers and figure out what is in the middle of those two numbers. But notice these two numbers are the same, so there is nothing in the middle. Therefore, 80 will be our middle value. But if those two numbers were different numbers, you would simply add those two numbers together and divide by 2, and that would tell you what is exactly in the middle of those two numbers. The next statistical measure that we will look at is the mode. To find the mode of a data set, we just have to figure out what number appears in our data set most often. And notice with the word mode, the first two letters are MO, which can remind us stands for most often. And in this particular case, the number that shows up most often is 80. So the mode of this data set is equal to 80. And the last statistical measure that we are going to look at is the range. The range is the distance between the smallest number in your data set 
in this case 65, and the largest number in your data set, which is 100. And to find that distance from least to greatest, you can subtract those two numbers to find the distance or the difference. So we are going to subtract 65 from 100, and that is going to give us a range of 35. So in review, we found that Penelope's mean quiz score was 82.5%. And to find the mean score, you have to add up all of the scores and take that total and divide by how many scores you added up together. The median quiz score is 80. And to find the median, you have to take all of the numbers, make sure they are placed in order, and just find the middle value. The mode of our data set is also 80, and the range of our data set is equal to 35. And the range is found by subtracting the smallest value in your data set from the largest number in your data set.